Hey, this is John with FixYourDirtBike.com, and this is how to service the rear brake master cylinder on your 2009 through 2010 Honda CRF 450R. The tools you'll need are 12mm socket, 7mm socket, 12, 10, and 8mm wrench, 8mm hex wrench, 5mm hex wrench, a small pick, a stiff brush, long nose, snap ring pliers, calipers, torque wrench, and chop towels. The parts you will need are a rear master cylinder rebuild kit, dot four brake fluid, and rubber grease. If you don't have your rebuild kit yet, you can get yours through the link below. This master cylinder rebuild should cost around $25 and take around 30 minutes to complete. Brake fluid will damage almost anything it touches, so make sure you have your shop towels handy. Start by unbolting the brake lever and removing the brake lever spring. Loosen the banjo bolt while the master cylinder is still mounted. Remove the mounting bolts, followed by the banjo bolt. Make sure to wrap the end of the brake line with a paper towel. Completely disassemble the master cylinder. Undo the brake lever clevis lock nut and set the lever assembly aside. The nut by the boot is part of the push rod, so don't try to remove it. It's there to adjust the brake lever after installation. Clean every part inside and out with brake cleaner and a shop towel. If you need to scrub anything, make sure you use a non-metallic brush. Inspect every component for damage or uneven wear. If you find any rough spots, gently sand them down with fine grit emery paper. Measure the inside diameter of the cylinder bore and the outside diameter of the piston. The cylinder bore should be no greater than 9.575 millimeters and the piston should be no less than 9.465 millimeters. If your cylinder bore and piston are out of spec, they need to be replaced. Before assembly, take stock of your new parts. I am installing an all balls rebuild kit that includes a new pushrod boot, banjo bolt seal washers, piston cups, spring clip, and piston spring. Make sure to match the old parts with the new parts so you don't throw away something you need unintentionally. Soak your new piston cups in fresh brake fluid for 15 minutes before assembly. Start your assembly with the piston. Install the piston cups with the large side facing the spring end. Take your time with the cups. If they are damaged, your brakes will not work. Install the piston spring. Coat the master cylinder bore with brake fluid and install the piston past the first cup. Install the piston in a twisting motion to avoid rolling the cups. To install the push rod, start by holding the cylinder body with your left hand. Apply a layer of rubber grease to the push rod, then position the push rod and spring clip. Firmly press the push rod down with your left thumb and clip the push rod into place. To make sure the clip is in the groove, use your pick to rotate it. If it moves, it's seated. Apply some rubber grease to the inside of the new boot and slip it over the push rod. Push the boot into place with the round side of your 8mm wrench and make sure the top of the boot seats in the groove past the nut. Wipe off any excess grease. Install the diaphragm and reservoir cap. Install the banjo bolt with new seal washers and make sure the shank rests on the tab. Install the master cylinder mounting bolts. Install the brake lever and attach the return spring. Torque the mounting bolts to 10 foot pounds the banjo bolt to 25 foot-pounds, and the brake lever pivot bolt to 27 foot-pounds. Make sure to visit FixYourDirtBike.com for the detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.